Buju, Kinemagi and Nene Ireland Dijnikas coming live with today's My Math Network programming. Today's lesson, Chapter 5, Lesson 4, Hands-on, Adding Decimals Using Base 10 Blocks. The essential question in this chapter, how can I use place value and properties to add and subtract decimals? Today, we're gonna to focus on base 10 blocks, which none of you have in your hands because we're in the middle of a pandemic. However, we will talk about how we could draw these out, which may be quicker in the end anyway. So we'll begin our lesson in our book on page 323. And it'll say build it. So if you need to pause the video to get your book, this would be a great time to do it. All right, so our first problem says, Ruben downloaded two ringtones to his cell phone. One cost him $1.30 and the other one was discounted to 50 cents. How much did it cost for both ringtones? And they have modeling here and this is what's present on your book on 323, how to do a ones, tenths, hundredths. So $1.30 was one square, which has a hundred little dots, each one representing a penny. So together there, it's a dollar. Then three tenths. And sometimes we've used these as 10. Well, in this particular lesson, this is a tenth and the square is one. If you had a little dot, the little squares, those would represent hundredth because it takes a hundred of those to make this one, while it only takes 10 of these tenths to make this one. So we have a whole and three tenths plus basic niche, this way, niwin, nanin tenths here. If you put them together, you could start seeing what it might look like. How many tenths are there? Let's get my annotation tool. Remember to fill in when, whenever possible. If you said there were eight of them, you'd be correct. So there was a hole which is represented by one, a decimal point goes in between the hole and the decimals. And there were eight, so he spent $1.80. And Remember to label it with a dollar sign because we label our things so we know what we're talking about. You may choose to put a zero there because when we talk about money, quite often we go to the second decimal point or the hundredths and eight tenths is equivalent to 80 hundredths. And is this reasonable? If you were to have rounded, this would go up to, this would be one, this would be one. 1. 1.8 is pretty close to two. I'll give you a moment to write this in. If you need an extended period of time, you should probably hit pause. And then we'll be going to the top of the next page. 324. I'll clear the drawings. Let's go to 324. We have 1.42 plus 0.87, which could also be read as 1 and 42 hundredths plus 87 hundredths. They are modeled here for us. We have one, then we have basic niche this way, niwin, and we have eight down here, and then we've got two and seven in the hundredths. So we're gonna go ahead and add those. How many ones are there? We will have to regroup. 
once we get going into this because there were nine there was one one 12 tenths and nine hundredths we can redraw this and i'm going to use my drawing tool here we had originally this you can take 10 of those 12 and make a second one second hole then we have here's an, the other two and then we have our five six seven eight nine our hundreds so our final answer would be two point two nine and is that pretty close to two absolutely so go ahead and write write that in Just remember, anytime you have more than 10 in a particular place value, you do need to regroup. That will be the one thing that could throw you off. So how is adding decimals similar to adding whole numbers? It's exactly the same, except you have to line up your decimal points. That is the only difference. It needs to be neat. You need to have the ones over the ones, the tenths over the tenths, the hundreds over the hundreds, the billions over the billions. Everything else stays the same. Let's have you practice a couple. First, numbers two and three. Remember that you can draw a square to represent a one, a straight line to represent a tenth, and a dot to represent a hundredth. I'm going to ask you to pause your video, draw these out your answers, and we'll come back and check how you did. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. We had three tenths plus four tenths, which gave us seven tenths, which is written as 0 0.7. We had two whole ones and then four tenths and five tenths, so that gave us two whole and nine tenths, which can be written as 2.9. Let's go a little further. 1.52 plus 0.37, also read as 1 and 52 hundredths plus 37 hundredths. And a number 5, 3 and 71 hundredths plus 1 and 53 hundredths. Go ahead, pause the video, and let's see how you did on the other side. Let me pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. Over here, we had two and seven in the hundreds that stayed as a nine. Three and five gave us eight. And then there was one whole one there. Over here, we have three and one gave us four. Five and seven gave us 12, but we can't put 12 here. So we took 10 of them and made a box over here, a square over here, and kept the two here. So now we had the one, two, and three from our first addend one from the second add-in, and then the regrouped from the 10th. So now we end up at 5.24. At this point, this should be feeling pretty good to you. And if you're ready, the homework page, which is 327 and 328, the front side of 327 is only kind of review. And it's always a good idea to check back to this and see if it makes sense to you. Then on the back side, 328, you have one, two, three, four, five problems. The models will be hard to put in a Google form. So I'm going to have to trust you that you're drawing them out on paper or in a whiteboard in order to complete the assignment and answer the question correctly. If you would like to, you can take a picture of that paper instead of filling out a Google form and text it to me at 989-992-0510 or email it to me at mireland at sagchipschool.net.
If any of this is difficult, please reach out to me during office hours. Remember, the best way to get this material is via our class sessions where you can ask questions of a live teacher. These videos are still intended for students who had to miss class for whatever reason or just need to refresh on content by watching it a second time. Hope you all have a minogijigad. Bama pee.